What's going on YouTube? My name is Tyrone Trinity and today we're going to do a call can two haul. So without further ado, let's go. <laughs> So before I start this tool haul, let me just start by saying that I am not going to mention any prices because prices, prices are subjected to change and Palmax availability are very, very questionable. So let's start this tool haul with everyone's favorite, everyone's favorite, and that is the wobble extension. This right here is the quarter inch wobble extension and the price the prices are different within Koken and Koken USA and Palmac. So if I were you, I would go with Koken USA because Koken USA have amazing customer service. Palmac no, don't try not to order anything in Palmac. I know some YouTubers have their own like discount code on that, but that's up to you at the end of the day. But to me, I wouldn't recommend it due to my experience. But the quarter inch wobble extension part number is Papa Kilo 2763 slash six. And I already have the 3.8. The three eights worked out on me so so well, actually well, way too great that I don't even use all my other extensions anymore. I don't even use my Mac extension anymore because the three H, the three eights Koken wobble extension is working amazingly on a daily day use. Um, if you want an update on that, shout out to Benjamin Axios. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm gonna shout out to you real quick. He wants an update on that. Quick update. They're great. If you can have a little bit of money to side, I would suggest on buying that. Uh, I'd rather than buying the Snap-on. I think the Snap-on's a little bit overpriced. That's just my opinion. But I think the 3 8 Koken wobble extension are amazing because they're all in one. I think buying a wobble extension this great can you probably get away with it without buying the actual universal joint extension um, sockets. I mean, if you don't have the money yet or you're starting, I would get this first. So with that said, again, I love this right here. Let's open it up right now. And like you see, it's still on the box. It's still in the plastic. I do like opening my tools at work. Especially to the big ones because uh, it's a lot of boxes. Uh, it does come with a, I believe this is a 12, a 9 inch, a uh, 6 inch. I think so. I think this is a, this is a 12, a 9, a 6, and then a 4, and then a 3, and then a 1 inch. So. That's on that. And what I really love about this, besides the locking, uh, the wobble part of it, is that this right here, this knurl, if you have oily hands or if you work on a lot of fuel system, you know that if you're wearing gloves, you will, your hands will slip. And I'm not knocking on the Mac, the Mac, where the Mac extension well works amazing the knurling on that's fairly aggressive but these notches with the knurling took it to another level so if you look at that I don't know if you guys can see that very well but uh, yeah I don't really know I don't remember um, how much I got this so I will link all the items that I have right now below so you guys can just check it out. And the next tool is the same thing. It's an extension, but this is the half inch. 
again pretty much pretty similar with the I guess this one is a little bit different though because this is a 12 a 6 I guess this is a I guess this is a 9 inch 12 9 or right, I think that's a 6 I had to like check that out a little bit and give you guys an update um, or an edit but these are the sizes that it comes but if there's if you guys want to convert that real quick these are the sizes for that and as you can see let's open it up and I know I talk about a lot of youtubers talk about the gokins the feature and the quality and the finish but there is no justice for me of saying that this is this tool is just seems looks really good and it feels nice like if you feel like if there's no branding on this and he's, he gave it to another tech they would think it's a snap-on if they didn't look at the brand because of the way the, the look the look and the feel of it I don't know it's just looks really nice and there's something about a tool that that's made well that it like you appreciate the artwork of okay, it so the knurling so the knurling on this reminds me of a barbell like if you if you lift weights you'll know that <clears throat> especially the rogue ohio bar you'll know the the knurling is a little bit it's more aggressive than the mac extension so and that's why I, literally, I really love this extension and that's why I had to get the quarter inch and the half inch one to replace all other extensions I have. Let's put that on the side. Uh, on the, floor. the next tool is going to be the adapter set they have. Okay, <clears throat> before I talk about this tool, I want to talk about Palmac real quick. Okay, so when I went to PowMac, I think it's .NET, <clears throat> they said that they have it in stock. The quantity is, I think it's like 20, right? So that's fine, because I didn't want to wait. <clears throat> I can wait like two weeks at most, and I'll be fine. I wouldn't complain about it. But the reason why I start complaining is that this, when you say it's available, you have 14 in stock. That means in the warehouse somewhere you have 14 of them. Then you kind of have to like live up to that inventory because when I bought this and I bought all this tools right here that I'm gonna guys I'm gonna show you guys. They said they didn't have this in stock. They, they still have it in Japan or some still getting made, which is fine. It's all fine by me, but don't say that you have it in stock when you don't because it took me a month and a half to get my tools i got it on the i bought all these tools at november 2 i got it at mid-december so that's and with no communications at all i had to keep reaching out to them that where's my tools okay uh, they got me a email like two days after I bought my stuff that my this this tool right here the PK two three four six slash six part number is back order and it has to come from Japan and but you said online that you have 20 of them and so it's kind of false you know what I mean like inventory so kind of annoyed because I had to wait that long, but because especially the adapter set, for some reason I lost all my adapter. I don't know, maybe somebody borrowed it from my toolbox and didn't return it because uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird how I lost them all, especially the cheap ones and not the expensive ones. But yep, so I got this adapter set, it's pretty neat. I like that it's in the case like this so I can just leave it and in my toolbox and you don't have to get another uh, organizer for this 
Uh, let's open it up real quick. I we'll have a knife with me, so I'm just gonna use the good old nail. Right here. Focus. Come on, man. That right. you got the three quarters inch to half inch and half inch to three quarter inch adapter. The three eighths to have half inch, the half inch to three eighths reducer. Same with the quarter inch, three eighths to quarter inch, and quarter inch to three eighths. So it looks good. This has a pretty similar finish as all Koken does, Koken tools, and. And hopefully it does what it should and no problem there if there is i'm gonna leave i'm gonna make a review about it so that is it for that i haven't given you guys the part number for the half inch wobble extension and that is the pk4763 slash five i think because the five means i think it's the the quantity of the wobble extension so, or the set so let's go to the next tool for the next tool it's pretty simple i've been doing a lot of fuel lines fuel injector lines lately so i got i, don't, I got a laser fuel line socket but i don't know i decided to upgrade one because i've been doing them a lot and this is the 19 millimeter fuel line socket the finish is pretty similar to all the coking I don't know if it's anything special about them, but uh, just seems nice. I'm not going to get the whole set because I usually just use the 19 and I still have another set of fuel line socket, which is from laser. The, the laser tool fuel line sockets are made in China. So I kind of like having, I don't like my daily tools being made in China. I don't know. That's just me though. I don't know about you, but, uh, I like my hand tools either made in Japan or USA. I'm picky like that, but if you like icon tools or snap, uh, any other tools, that's fine with me. I'm not gonna judge you, so don't judge me on my choice of tools. But to me, I like Japanese and USA tools, so that's why I got me a 19 mil. So that is it for that. Nothing too special about it. Just the, the coking and the feel, the finish, really great. And the next tool is going to be a little bit of different. And I know a lot of people talk about the nut grip sockets, especially um, a lot of YouTubers, actually. So this one is a little bit different. It's a nut grip socket, but this is a universal joint socket. Nut, 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 nut grip socket. So I am a little bit disgruntled about the pricing on this. I won't say the price, but you guys can check it out. I will click down below. A link down below and the part number for this is Romeo Sierra 344 Mike 5 again the 5 is the the quantity of the set and this goes from 8 which you usually use and 10 12 13 and 14 which I'm not gonna knock the choice of coking for to putting a 12 in here instead of a 15 because uh i know i work on isuzu's and they use a lot of 12s so and that regard and mentioning that this is a japanese tool they use a lot of 12 so 12 mil i don't usually use for working on cascadias and m2s but for isuzu's or Japanese or Asian cars uh, 12 is a go-to Actually, you can break down a Isuzu with a 12 a 15 and a 17 10 12 15 and 17 and No lie <laughs> you can definitely break down a, a Isuzu with that set and I like this because on tight areas especially working on um fuel pumps on Cascadia's and with that said what this is just a regular hex 
I got another tool from Koken that's really, really cool, but kind of disappointing, and that is the hex, external hex, nut grip socket. Let's take it out of the cover. I, I really like that they put it on a little something like this. What I hate about it is they put it on a rail, this cheap rail. I hate it when they any two companies that they put on a real cheap rail like this. I know it's cost effective, save some money, but I I would spend ten bucks for a, a decent, a decent uh, socket rail. So this is not a universal joint, but they do have a universal joint uh, version of this. And honestly, I'm a little bit, I should have paid attention more before I got this. I, I should have never got this because I should have just got the individual um, sockets so I can consolidate which one I need. So I needed a 10, uh, external 10, a 13, a 15, and that's in a 19 maybe. But other than that, I don't really use like the external 12s or 14 or 20. I never had to use, I don't know any mechanics. I don't know if you guys use an external uh, Torx 20, but I don't. So I, I don't know anybody in the shop that will ever use this. So a little bit disappointed, but uh, that's my own fault. So again, this is the external socket part number for this is RS34 Romeo Sierra 3425 slash 4 and again it comes with a 10 12 14 and a 20 so that is it for that this is a nut grip okay that's uh, great for fuel lines Cascadia fuel lines uh, they use a lot of e-torques um, sprinters, they do use a lot of sprinters on those tight spots. This could be very helpful. Um, I do have one suggestion though. I know this all you have a nut grip, but but there is no there is nothing wrong to put a magnet inside this just for that extra security. Because sometimes the grip it's not really there, especially if it's a standard. I know you're supposed to use a standard socket but sometimes your go-to is your metric and having a magnetic with the nut grip can be capiche man i'm telling you that coking if you guys are listening you probably won't but it will be great if you guys put a magnet on this nut grip sockets so that said the last tool in here is probably the one in front of you the whole time is the Koken 3h drive ratchet and the the part number for this is three seven two six zulu and it's a z and i should have got the quarter inch with a three eighths head but i wouldn't need that much um i don't know if there's instances i'm gonna need that i guess if there is i'm gonna buy it but it, in the top of my mind I don't know if I'm gonna need that so so here's the ASMR sound of that ratchet love this ratchet I might take home bring the 3 8 drive ratchet that I have just so I can replace that and bring my snap on uh, 3 8 drive 6 inch flex head ratchet so the grip the grip is okay it's not as good as the Mac but it's not as also not as great as the Maco but it's not as what do you call this I, don't, I couldn't find a word for it but janky as the snap-on ones the comfort grip on the snap-on not a big fan I know a lot of people snap-on people will get offended that's just not my style. I don't like the snap-on. I, I love the snap-on hard grip handles. Not the steel ones, hard grip ones. The color ones, 
I have a lot of those and that's just my opinion on that so don't knock me I love this wrench I mean ratchet love this ratchet to death but my only gripe on this is that this is the wrong way <laughs> like this right here should be tighten and this should be loosened so when I when I'm ratcheting sometimes or I'm do, doing work I get confused and I'm not paying attention too well that I'm using a coking so I tend to like do this and I'm like ah oh, shoot so that's probably the it, only complaint on this other than that man I have the 3 8 uh, 3 inch 3 8 drive ratchet love that tool I don't even use I don't even use my snap on anymore because of that but and this right here will be my go-to in the future or actually my go-to already I just have to bring this home I've had this for almost a month now it did arrive December 15 so that's about it for this and the last one is what I love about Koken is that they always provide me a sticker to put it on my toolbox and I know it's underrated people don't give about stickers anymore but I do love that they do so that is it for that if you guys have any questions or any comments negative comments opinions criticisms whatever put it down below and I usually if it's too negative I, I don't really reply but if you guys have any question I usually reply and other than that man that is about it for this tool haul took a little bit of a while and I haven't making been making videos in a while and there's a reason why for that and I'll tell you guys on the next tool haul next is gonna be a JDT code tool haul so watch out for that if you want to watch that video click that subscribe button somewhere around here and like this channel or like this video other than that man again my name is Tyrone Trinity the diesel soldier reminding you guys that knowledge is a tool use it wisely I'm out peace